Hey guys, today we're going to talk about our left hand placement. So when you put your left hand up in the proper place on the violin there are some, or the viola, there are some important things to remember. Okay, number one, I want to introduce you to Spy Guy Thumb. I'm going to hold my violin kind of funny so that you can see my hand and my face at the same time. So when you have your, your instrument, you're going to have yours up on your shoulder like this. Okay, so let's just pretend. Here we go. This is up on someone's shoulder and this is somebody else's hand. Okay. My thumb is going to go right around where my first finger tape is, where that very first tape, the one that's closest to the scroll and the pegs, my thumb's going to go there and it's just going to be straight up and down. Okay, straight up and down thumb. And he's going to barely peek over. So if I turn it back the other way, you'll see he's barely peeking over. Okay, we call this spy guy thumb. Okay, so he's not up here saying, hey, yo, what's up? I'm Mr. Thumb. Mm -mm. No, he's a spy. He doesn't want to be seen. And he's a good guy spy, by the way. All right, so he's peeking over. Okay, then if you look at your hand, you see these little lines across the bottom, right where your fingers connect to your hand. The bottom line right here is going to go near the little bump here um, on the side. This is called the nut but it's just a little bump where the strings go over. So once you have spy guy thumb in place, then the side of your hand is going to go there beside the nut, okay? And so you'll see the little line that goes by the nut goes right towards the little bottom line of your fingers. So you have that all lined up properly. There's another part of this. When your thumb is in the right place and your finger um, knuckle is in the right place, you're actually going to have a little window. Do you see that little window? Okay, it's right there, all right? So you could kind of peek through, hi, <laughs> peek through that little window if you had it right. Um, so that's gonna be the setup. Now the other part is that your wrist here is gonna be straight, straight, not in like this. We need some air right here. The palm of your hand is holding a lot of air right here. That's very important to have a um, to have the air there to have the proper um, finger position. That way, when you put your fingers down, everything is lined up in the right way. So here's the hand set up correctly. You can see my thumb is right over here, just barely peeking over. There's our spy guy thumb. He's not sticking up high like this. He's not waving at you. Oh, him way down there. So we have our little window right here. And then you can see the knuckle here is right up against where the nut is. See this, my instrument has a little mark right here. Yours won't have that, but there is the little bump right there. It's called the nut. And your finger's gonna go back beside that. So you'll see my hand is open. Spy guy thumb is right over here. My bottom knuckle is lined up with the nut. So if you're looking at the nut, you'll see a line going across here, going right to that bottom line of your finger. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see that. So if you see the bottom line of my finger here, lines up right across here. And that's what I'm looking at when I have it up on my shoulder and my hand properly shaped. Notice my straight wrist. I have a little window right there. My fingers are nice and relaxed. And my spy guy thumb is just spying. You can barely even see him peeking over. Okay, now let's talk about putting the fingers down, okay? So if you look at my hand, um, here's the violin, I've got my spy guy thumb, I'm knuckle man, there's the view, okay? And the very first stripe down here is for my pointer finger, first finger. So let's try putting that down. This is the A string for violins or the D string for violas. It doesn't really matter. You can just try putting it down on the stripes. And then the next finger down is gonna go down on the next stripe and then the next finger is going to go down the next stripe so we have three fingers down pinky is just hanging out okay let me show you what it looks like from this side okay so we have let's see if i can tilt this a little bit first finger down on the stripe and then second finger down on the stripe and then third finger down on the stripe now you'll notice my fingers are right on top of the stripes and it's my fingertip so you notice my fingers all have little flat tops Okay, like little tabletops or little boxes. You might notice this one looks like a little box, okay? And this one almost looks like a little box. It looks like a little box that's kind of being opened a little bit. And then this one is the same. So we have these flat tops to our fingers. If you put your fingers down like this, then they look more like slides. Whee! 
we do not want slides. No slides, okay? So no slides, we just want fingers um, bent into little box shapes with the little flat tops, okay? And notice how my thumb is straight up and down. He's not taking a nap. When thumb starts taking a nap, then your hand comes in like this and your wrist is not straight. And we do not want that. We want open wrist, okay? I call this open wrist and I call this air underneath, um, air right here in, in the palm of your hand. Okay, so that's one way to help. Okay, so now let's review putting our fingers down and practicing some notes. So number one, you're going to put your instrument up on your shoulder, hide your shoulder, chin on your chin rest or jaw on your chin rest, spy guy thumb in place, knuckle man, this guy's name is knuckle man, I don't know if I told you that, but he's called knuckle man, standing tall to where the nut is lined up with the bottom line and an open wrist and a little tiny window. Okay, now we're gonna put our thumbs down position here and be ready to pluck. So I'm currently playing a viola, and so this is gonna be the D string, okay? So violins, you need to count three strings over to find your D. One, two, three for violins, one, two for viola. All right, so let's play two D strings. So listen, ready, go. Now let's put one finger down on the stripe this is an E, let's play two of those. My turn, ready, go. Now remember, if your sound's funny and you get a sound like this, it means your finger has to push down harder. So push down, hold the string down, and push down a little harder. Okay, let's add the next finger, number two finger. This is an F sharp, listen, ready, go. Next finger, third finger down. Really press the string down all the way. Keep your open wrist here, air right there. Curved little tabletop fingers. Ready, go. Now let's do it all again. Open D, ready, go. One finger down, E, go. Two fingers down, F sharp, go. Three fingers down, G, go. Now don't get confused because everybody has a string named G also, but this is G note, three fingers down on D string. So just in case you know, oh, what's the other G? Yes, that's a different one. We're not doing that one yet. Remember, every time you practice, make sure that you have your instrument on the left side, up on your shoulder, hiding your shoulder. Remember how that looks. Up on your shoulder, your jaw or your chin on the chin rest and your hand position as perfect as you can get it with spy guy thumb, knuckle man standing tall, lots of air right here, a little window to make sure that your hand placement will be right. Make sure your instrument's not drooping down. We don't want droopy syndrome here, okay? No droopy violins and violas. It needs to go straight across, okay? So make sure that you're always practicing proper posture all the time.